To manage the membership of your chapter, you'll first log in to FBLA Connect and on the home screen, you'll see a button for Manage Membership. Clicking on this link will take you to the Transition Members tool where you can see all of your members in the three stages of membership. The first stage is Unpaid Student. This is a column where all of the different students will be listed here at the beginning of each academic school year. All of your existing students from the last academic year have been imported and should appear in this list in the first column. This is where you will also add all the new students that are going to join your roster for this school year. The second column is the active member column. These are paid students that have active membership for this academic year. And the third column is the alumni column where all graduated students from your school will appear in the final column. If your student will move on to a high school or collegiate chapter in the future, they will still be listed as alumni for your chapter and they will be listed as unpaid or active members for the next school that they go to. The first thing that you'll want to do is to clean up your unpaid student column. There may be some student names here that have graduated over the summer. For those cases, you'll select their names and then click on graduate members. So this button is only available during August and September so that you are able to clean up your roster before the beginning of each academic school year. So you'll select those names, click graduate members, and then click OK to confirm that you're going to skip over the member column and go straight to the alumni column. Now you can see those members listed here on the alumni column. Once you've cleaned up your unpaid student list, now you'll need to add the new members that are joining your chapter. To do so, you'll click on the Add Unpaid Students button. Doing so will take you to the Add Unpaid Student page where you'll see four different options in how to add members to your chapter's page. Here you'll be able to see option one, which is add an existing member. So for example, I'm currently logged into a high school chapter. So if I know that some of these students that are joining came from an FBLA middle school level chapter, then they're already in the system. And I don't want to create a new account for them. I want to use their existing account so that all of their existing work with FBLA in history is saved on that profile moving forward. So here I'll type in someone's name and I'll be able to see their old schools. And so I can see, um, you know, maybe it's the student here from this school, this previous school, their previous schools will be listed underneath their names. Once you have uh, selected the, the person that you want to join, the local account type will be selected and, uh, and you'll be able to um, add them. You'll want to select the local account type of unpaid student such that they will be added to the unpaid student area of your list. So once you have that selected, then you click add existing member and that member will be added to your roster. The next option is manual entry. So underneath manual entry, you'll be able to add their name, email address, and again, ensure that unpaid student is selected to add that contact to your roster. And so uh, make sure that you've tried option one first to ensure that they're not already in the system. Option three is file upload. This is the case where you may have your students roster already in a spreadsheet, uh, or you'd like to add them as a spreadsheet and into the system. So we'll click on import contact data CSV. And on this page, you'll be able to see the three-step process. We have download the CSV template, and then you'll see the template, which looks exactly like this with five columns, first name, last name, email, grade, and gender. For the grade column, it'll be numbers from five through 12. And then for collegiate chapters, it'll be collegiate space freshman, uh, collegiate space sophomore, etc. Collegiate space graduate and alumni is another valid option for grad, uh, grade uh, column. And the next one is the gender column. So gender will uh, be female, male, or not selected. And once you have all this information in there, you'll be able to save that CSV onto your device and then upload it here and click on the import unpaid students button. At this point in time, the system will review your entire spreadsheet. And if the email matches any other existing account in the system, it will automatically use that existing account. If the email does not match, but the name matches an individual in your chapter's roster, then it will show you both accounts side by side and you'll be able to select 
from a couple options. You can say these are the same people and it will use the existing record. You can say these are different people and then if you do so, you'll be able to select which record you want to keep the information from, the old information or the new information. So once you're through all of that, those unpaid students will be added to your roster in that first column from the transition members tool. The fourth option is a registration link. In this option, you'll be able to send the registration link out uh, to all of your prospective members that are interested in joining the chapter and they can self-register. So you can send this link through an email newsletter or uh, print this out on a poster or convert this to a QR code and have this on uh, flyers or however you'd like to disperse this link, you may do so. And then those members will be able to self-register. Once they self-register on this registration page, you will receive an email notification saying that someone has registered and they're pending your approval. You'll be able to click the button in that email and it'll take you to the view pending registrations page, which you can also get to from members view pending registrations. On this page, you will see a list of students' names and the option to approve or reject their registration. Once you approve the registrations, they will be added to your unpaid student list in the transition members tool, which can be found under members transition members to return back to this page. So in any case, I would recommend using option number one to search the database first before using option two, three, or four to ensure that all of your uh, members that are coming from previous FBLA chapters will maintain the history of their accounts. Thank you.